Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. Tonight we are going to up pot all of these tomatoes and separate them because there's so many. We're also going to up pot some of these peppers and probably at least up pot all the tomatoes and peppers tonight. Uh, onions are going to go out into the garden tomorrow. Uh, so that'll create a lot more room down here. All right, so I am up potting my tomatoes and my peppers. So I am going to put them in solo cups. Um, I was trying to do soil blocks for everything, but soil blocks aren't going to work when I have five or six seeds in each one that germinated. Um, but one of the things with soil with using solo cups for this is that there's no drainage, obviously. So we have to create drainage. So I am drilling holes into my solo cups, uh, the, the ones that I'm actually going to pot into. And then I'm going to put these into another one so that I can bottom water. Uh, so basically just putting a drill bit on and into the pile and I'll see how far down I got but I'm going to do about three holes in each one just so that I make sure I have enough drainage so that I don't soak my plants all right so we've got our cups doubled up so a cup with no holes and inside the cup with the holes. Uh, this will allow for drainage and we can also bottom water. So I can pull this bottom cup off, water from the bottom, you know, fill that cup up and then put this one back in, uh, which will be better for the roots. And also again, drainage, which will have less root rot. So first I'm gonna separate all my yellow cherry tomato plants because there's so many of them. There are five or so at least in each cell. Uh, so I'm going to split those up because those are the most affected by being so densely planted. These ones are still doing well next to it. They're like two or three to a, um, each cell. And then these ones are doing better. So if I had to leave some, I would leave those over. These ones that are definitely starting to be affected by being so densely planted. I am just using a uh, miracle Grow potting mix. I didn't even get to get an organic one where I went, I went to Tractor Supply <laughs> and that's all they had was the regular potting mix. Uh, I didn't want to run out to a million stores. I don't really want to expose myself more than I already am. As a nurse, again, I'm already exposed a ton. I don't need to be exposed anymore. Um, and I don't need to be going out there and exposing these ones. Not that they were with me, but still bringing stuff home. So I did just get the regular potting mix. <laughs> Next year will be organic. So I am very quickly realizing that I am going to need more grow lights. I am getting rid of my onions, which are down here this weekend. There's one whole tray and half a tray, but I still am going to have the celery. Um, and I wanted to up all of these. And this is two rows of tomato seeds or tomato seedlings. And so there's no way I'm going to have enough room to up all of these today. And because my greenhouse blew away, I have no outdoor space either to put anything. So, <laughs> some of my brassicas can probably go out. My Brussels sprouts are looking really nice. I'll probably give them another week and they can go out, which will give me one more whole tray empty here. But, still not going to be enough to fit all of these. And there were so many of these yellow cherry tomatoes. They needed to be up potted. And I did sacrifice quite a few that were looking kind of leggy and yucky. But a lot of these have two, which is going to be, need to be separated. Time to go convince the husband to let me get more grow lights. All right, guys, this is my sister, Victoria. She is the one who, if you look at my new uh, profile picture on YouTube, she's the one who drew my logo. And I love it. Uh, it's also my profile picture on my Facebook page, Poplar Creek Farm, and my Instagram, which is Poplar Creek Farm 2019. Um, we are done for the night because I am running out of room. So we are going to go convince my husband to let me get more grow lights. Hopefully. Uh, he got in a tree stand. So that is a little bit of leverage. Um, but we will tomorrow work on our barn. And we gotta get the onions outside and get a couple other things. I bought grapes today. I seriously have a problem. I cannot go into a store that has any amount of plants and not go look at them. I actually was like, 
twitching at Lowe's because I couldn't go look at the plants. I was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Um, so I ended up with grape plants, which are going to go around the, the trellises, around the garden gate. So it's not a, not a big deal. We wanted them anyways. Um, so tomorrow that'll be part of our project, and we are going to get some of these, more, more of these up potted tomorrow. But we're done for the night because we're out of room until the onions get outside. So thank you all for joining me. Please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.